Lindsay with Emeralds and Fairy Lights and I'm here for Twinkling Thursday. Um, this is a Thursday in our Jingle Drills um, event that I'm hosting with Crafting with Shay. Make sure to go and check out her whip and chat today because she will be doing a giveaway in this week's um, in her whip and chat. I will as well. Um, this week she is doing a US only giveaway. So um, on my channel this week, I will be doing um, a giveaway that is open to international to everyone because it will be a gift card. So make sure to go and watch both of those whip and chats. Today though, we are going to be looking at two dreamer designs and one of them, which I am just absolutely so excited to show you guys been waiting for this one. Now I do need to preface this by telling you guys that I am an affiliate for Dreamer Designs. I do have an, a code Emeralds15 um, to save you 15%. That may or may not work on first purchases or the first like one, one use only. Um, I need to contact them because I've had some people tell me that it wasn't working again. So we'll see, but um, that is a code. At least try it. Try to save yourself 15%. <laughs> it always goes into just um, if I earn any small commission, it goes back into supporting the channel. Okay, this is the painting that I am so excited for, you guys. This is the one I've been hoping. Well, one of them, but really so excited. We have got Alice. This is Curtis Rykovich's Alice. And um, I just I just love Alice in Wonderland stuff. And I especially love, um, I love a lot of his designs that are with the Alice in Wonderland. Oh my gosh, it'd be so cool if they did the red rabbit. Um, or not the red rabbit, it's it's a white rabbit, but they're wearing red. <laughs> anyway, um, and then I do have strawberry shortcake, which I actually got last week, but um, I just hadn't gotten to unboxing it, so I thought, let's do it in this one. These are both Curtis Rykovich's, and um, this, I really do, this shimmering box is being so shimmery today, so pretty. Um, as usual on the Dreamer Design boxes, they do have a handle. Um, and then they both explain how to diamond paint and what comes in your kit. Okay, let's look at Alice first because I am so excited about this one. Um, I love that they are releasing um, Curtis Rykovich's damsels. And I just look forward every week hoping that they'll, there will be one. So inside your box, you get this bag. Um, I think a lot of people really like it. It's a dust bag um, that helps them keep their canvases safe from like pet hair or anything like that. I think it kind of makes it more difficult to put in the box and I don't have any pets. So um, I kind of just put my canvas back in, but that is one good thing about having a dust bag. So we have our canvas. It is nicely rolled on this foam roller and tied with a ribbon. I love that, you guys. I love canvases tied with a ribbon. It is just awesome. <laughs> um, we have our toolkit and we have our drills. I think there's two bags of drills here. Okay, let's do a quick look at the toolkit in case you've never seen a Dreamer Designs before and you're um, curious to see what comes in one of these toolkits. This bag is really soft and a great little bag to carry your stuff in. Um, you do get two pens. You get one with a metal single placer tip and then you get one with this tip right here that um, is really helpful for ABs, I have to say. Um, yes, before I switched over to metal, um, all metal tips, I really liked this, this kind of tip, just in general. They do have tweezers. Um, these are very sharp and these are branded which is neat. Um, they are very sharp, sharp, so be careful with them. Um, we have, there are two boats in this that are also branded. And then two squishies, soft squishies. So like you can diamond paint with a friend. You guys could like each start at one end and diamond paint. Um, we've got baggies if you want to um, put your extra drills in them. I don't feel like there's enough there to kit up, but there's definitely some to help um, with your extra storage. As far as extra tips that you get, you do get a six placer and a three placer. These are a little bit of the chubbier um, sort of placers. I don't know if you can see that. 
but they still work pretty good. And then we have a straightener and then two things of this wax, this branded wax. So awesome. Okay. A nice little toolkit. I do think it's a little bit more deluxe of a toolkit. Um, just because you get so much in there as far as like an extra boat and you get the, the wax in those little containers and everything like that. Okay, let's look at this canvas. So, um, this is a Dreamer Designs canvas is our pour glue and so they um, can be rolled backwards to help flatten them out. And now because they are around this foam roller, they are so tightly rolled that I am just going to automatically roll this backwards to try to flatten it out so that we can see it. I see this coming out right now. So let's just fold it that way and there she is. <laughs> Look at her. Okay, I didn't quite get her in frame, but wow, she looks so great. Okay, can you get, I guess with the overhead lights, can you see the diamond painting there? Okay, gorgeous. Now they do have this info sheet on here um, with, you know, some different information. And then they do include in here a legend um, that is, these are individual stickers. That's one of the new things that they're doing on their canvases. So these are stickers and this makes kidding up so easy. Now let's look at the symbols. They right away have a three with a two, which is so naughty, but you know, um, like I always say, I just think that is not even on the minds of most diamond painting companies. Maybe someday, <laughs> um, diamond or um, Dreamer Designs does include their ABs at the very end. Um, so that's how you can know it looks like there's three ABs in this kit. Um, and ABs are a special drill that have like, the, it's AB for Aurora Borealis. Um, but that just means that there's like a special coating on it that makes it shine extra. Um, and so we will go ahead and see that. I just like feel like stuff's coming out everywhere. <laughs> Now we are gonna look at the drills and then we'll look more closely at the canvas and see where they all go. I really like that. I like the Cheshire cat's eyes. That's neat. Um, but yeah, let's actually look at the drills and um, then we'll like look at the symbols and see if they look clear. This is a square painting. I don't know if I mentioned that. And then this is a 60 by 80. And I feel like I didn't even go over the canvas. I'm sorry, guys, to anybody that's new. I'm just like, I'm so excited to get into this. But so you've got um, right up here, it tells you the size, which is a 60 by 80 centimeter. And it's legally licensed with Curtis Reykjavik. Um, You've got two legends on either side of your canvas. And then, of course, down um, right here, they have that you have a guarantee for missing drills or um, canvas issues. I apologize. I'm working in limited space here today, but it's the space I usually unbox and I feel like I'm really struggling today. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna show you the drills. If you don't like this part, you can always skip it. Um, and then we will go over and see where they go. got one bag and we've got the second one dreamer designs does hit um or does have their bags go in the number order on their legend um so you know every company does them a little bit different but this is that is how dreamer designs does it so let's start off first off we have got two bags of 154 Let's look at these drills. They look nice. Okay, we've got 158, 159, 160, 161, 208, 209, 225, and one bag of 310. I wonder if there's any more of 310, because I still think there looks like there's a lot. I can see 
Oh, okay. Yes. There is one, two, three, four, five more bags of 310. So there's six bags in total. We've got 316, 317, 318, 321, and 327. Then we have got another bag of 327, 340, 355, 413, 414, 415, 434. You guys get tired of my joke that they've got mosquitoes on the backs, but I know they're telescopes. 435, 436, 498. Six sixty six, seven eighteen, seven thirty nine, seven forty six, seven sixty two, seven seventy eight, seven ninety one, seven ninety six. Two bags of that, and then seven ninety seven. These are the two colors that I feel like look so similar, but I think that they just create a nice depth. Like it's a very subtle um, color shading. That's that's really neat. Okay, let me just see if I'm still going in the right order. Okay, we've got another bag of 797, 798, two bags of that. We have got 799, 801, 814, 823, um, three bags of 823, and then 839. We have got 840, 841, 842, 915, 3726, 3727, 3733, 3799, 3821, 3838, and then we have got 3838, and then we have our ABs right here, so we've got this lovely AB08, which is like a white, we've got AB34, this light purple, and then we've got AB46, which is this blue. So let's get these drills back in their pack. Okay, so we have got those drills put back in their bag, except for the ABs, which we're gonna look and see where those go. Um, let's look, of course, at the canvas. And this, this printing is a little dark, but I do think you can see, I do wish that these U's were a little bit lighter, like the printing on there. Um, one thing to note about Dreamer Designs is that their canvases are very saturated, so it's not necessarily what you're going to actually get once you put the drills down. Um, so um, it, it might look a little bit like of a more pigmented than, than it actually is. Um, but I do think like some of these look like they could have a little bit bled. Is that a five or a six right there? I think that's a six. Um, yeah. So I do think that, um, honestly, it's this type of canvas that they use. I'll be completely honest with you guys that the printing seeps into the canvas. And I feel like it can sometimes make it blurry. I think this one should be fine. I think it will be okay. The other thing to watch out for on this canvas is this scalloped edge which is supposed to stop it from fraying. Unfortunately, though, this canvas material frays very easily. Can you see this? Um, it's already starting to fray. So you just wanna kind of um, possibly look into finding something to put on your canvas edges so that they don't fray. But let's look at these AB08. That symbol is an O and you are going to get it right here in the ruffles of her skirt in certain places, that will be pretty. And then you're going to get it in the white rabbit. I really hope they do the white rabbit one. These would be so cool to put next to each other. 
Um, and you can see the, the O in all those places right there. There's a couple O's right there. There's some in the Cheshire Cat's eyes. I am definitely a fan of the pink and purple Cheshire Cat. Um, in recent times at the Disney's remake, they kind of did the blue and green. And I'm like, that's just not the Cheshire Cat to me. <laughs> But let me know down below um, what's your favorite rendition of the Cheshire Cat. But um, we've got them in her hair and outlining the teacup. And yeah, so that is for the whites. And then as far as these purples go, that is going to be a B. And they are going to be all over the Cheshire Cat. So that's going to be really pretty. Can you see like his whiskers, outlines? There's a ton of bees all through. All the light parts of the Cheshire Cat are gonna be bees. Um, that will be really pretty. And I think, yeah, just all through even in his tail, that's gonna make him sparkle. So you're gonna have the rabbit sparkle with the whites all through him and the Cheshire Cat's gonna have purple all through him. And then this blue is going to be the bobby pin symbol <laughs> i always call this the bobby pin symbol but i could be let me know what you call it just looking to see it does look like it's in some of the lighter areas of her dress just right here Let's see if it's anywhere else um looking I was thinking maybe it'd be in her eyes, but there's so few of them. I don't expect there to be a lot of them. There's some right here um, in, is that, the, is that the outside? Like, is that her still her hair? There's some blue in her hair, or is that just the background, like um, in the trees, that there's an opening in her hair that you can kind of see some of the bobby pin symbol in there? Um, so anyway, I think this will be really neat. <laughs> um, I kind of am curious to know, like, I kind of wonder if some crystals in the eyes would be really cool for the cat and in the yellow part of this, of this bunny and even maybe some pink in her eye and some frost. I usually like to put frost in the whites of the eyes that are usually an AB. I think that's really fun. Um, I think there's lots of fun things you could do. I think you could even like um, make right here this teacup that's in her hair. You could maybe on the blue that's supposed to be the writing, you could do something. Um, this one though, I think is just gonna turn out awesome. There's gonna be a good mix of color blocking and confetti in this. Like you can kind of see in the background that you've got these huge expanses of just black. Um, and then in the parts of like the skin and these areas like that, you're gonna have a ton of confetti. So this will be a good mix for those of you that like it. Okay, let me know what you guys think about this one and let's go to Strawberry Shortcake. Okay, so this one is called Princess Strawberry and this one is a 60 by 80, which um, I'm, I'm seeing that most of the Curtis Rykovich designs are being put in 60 by 80. And I actually really do think that's a good size for um to get the really the details of his image the ones that they've done a little bit smaller than that i feel like have come out a little bit pixelated um so i really do think that the larger canvas is what his designs need and deserve you know i in diamond painting form okay so we have got so many like pieces of um, the cardboard <laughs> in that box, I think from all the cutout holes. So again, we have got our canvas tied with a ribbon. We've got our toolkit. I'm not gonna go through this one because we just went through it. And then already, ooh, look at that pink. I love that kind of bubblegum bright pink. So um, this one is called Princess Strawberry. Um, I think obviously because they don't wanna run into like licensing um, this is a take on strawberry shortcake. 
And while I never really um, had a strawberry, I think I missed that. I'm definitely a 90s child and I feel like there was a blip in the 90s where like strawberry shortcake was not super popular. It was like really big in the 80s, I believe. And then it came back in the 2000s. And I know my sisters played with strawberry shortcake. Like there was a revamping of the series. So I, it makes me kind of think of them. There was like the blueberry doll and there was the different ones and they smelled. Am I remembering this right? So um, there is the instruction sheet. And then of course we have our sticker legend that has stickers on it. Um, but this one, um, what's funny about the strawberry shortcake is just that my mom makes a really delicious strawberry shortcake. And so when I saw this painting, like um, I, it just makes me think of that strawberry shortcake. <laughs> Not even just the doll, but just strawberry shortcake in general. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I love how vibrant and bright. I love the greens and the pinks and the reds together. I loved this background, um, this black background with the leaves going on. I was like, that is going to be just so cool. Um, yeah, this one. Wow. This, I think this one is going to be really stunning too when finished. Um, again, let's look at these drills and you can skip over this part if you want to, but we'll go and look at these and then where I think you could do some other fun things. Okay, last time I tried to find them in order. This time I'm just going to go through bag and of course this one is going to have a lot of black 310 as well. We've got 151, 152, 154, 223, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 bags of 310. I think there's more. 7, 8 bags of 310, 317, 318, 321, 2 bags of that, 414, 415, 472, 498. We've got 3326, 3371, 3721, 3722, 3740, 3799, one, two, three bags of that, and then 3802. That's for the first bag. We've got a standalone of two bags of 38.31. These look like they're gonna be a little bit staticky, but just throw in some dryer sheets and they'll, that should help with the static. So we have got two bags of 4.98, 600, 602, 603, 604, 606, 666, 700, and 702. I love 700. That green, that's going to be so pretty in there. Ooh, that, that will be so pretty. <laughs> I love it. Um, we've got 740, 754, 758, 762, 814, three bags of that, 819, 823, and 890. We've got 915, 938, 939, two bags of that. 946, 961, two bags of that. We've got 962, 963, and 3041. Ooh, doesn't that pink look so delicious pink? <laughs> Looks like frosting pink to me. Um, then we've got 3832. 3832, AB08, and AB38. So we've got the white and the green. I should have looked at that, but there's the two ABs. Um, so let's look. Let me get these drills back in order, and then we'll look at the ABs. Okay, so let's look and see where these ABs go. And of course, the white AB is going to be this um, o symbol, which is going to be, I think, just all throughout this white part of 
her dress. Now I was surprised that this is not a bees. Um, these on the cat that makes it kind of a strawberry, but the sorry, the whites are still on here. We'll get to the cat later. There is some white ABs right here interspersed in her necklace, and then there's going to be some in her eyes. There's well, as well as there is some in the cat's eyes. If you can see that, and then there is some in the I think these are supposed to be skulls um, or strawberries. Um, this one is a skull strawberry. So of course with Curtis Rakovich's work, it's always like a little bit on the dark side. It's not quite like, I feel like gory, but it, it does have some dark, um, the strawberry that is the skull right here in her dress. Now we have this AB38, which is the T and that's going to be the lightest part on this green. That's going to be really pretty with those greens. You can kind of see in the eye, the T, um, not any on that strawberry, but then they're going to be in her eye right here. And then outlining a lot of these strawberries, um, stems right there. So I think that that will be really pretty. Um, this one will be, I think a very fun one to do. It seems like a very fun spring one. Um, I do wonder about like adding maybe some light pink ABs into the cat where there's the polka dots to have fun with that. Um, I do think there's just different things. Like it might be fun to do some of these in red ABs. It might be fun to add some red ABs to her necklace to kind of like highlight it. Um, it'd be kind of cool to put some in the skull and then some up here in this skull. Um, but yeah, I think there's lots of really fun things that you could do with this one. And I think this will be overall a really fun painting. So let me know which one out of these two you guys like best. Um, I hope you have a great Thursday and I will see you in a video tomorrow. Bye.